Are you ready? Today, we are going to finally do the number one most requested item on my show in the past two years. Let me tell you why I haven't done it sooner, okay? The Orgreenic cookware had some real horror stories on the internet. People were saying, oh, we, we bought it and it didn't work and we couldn't get our money back. Or somebody would say, well, I bought it and I'm happy with it, but they double billed me and I can't get my money back. There was some, a bunch of stuff that I read on the internet. I'm like, screw that. I'm not doing that. I'll wait till it hits Walmart or Target or one of the other stores where I can return it if it fails. And I don't have to try and mail it back and fight somebody for my money, right? Well, it looks like uh, it arrived at Walmart and I got this one for $20. So I got the one pan and we're going to burn things. Can you believe it? I finally get to burn something on this show purposely. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at a short clip of how this thing works. Does your black nonstick coating on your pans always peel, chip, scratch, and just wear out? And it doesn't take very long to get this way either. Are you always adding oil, grease, and fat to keep foods from sticking? Use a spatula, you scrape the bottom because the food sticks, it peels and it chips. And sick of soaking and scrubbing dishes after every meal. Those are my nonstick pants. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Well, don't change that channel, because now is the time to go green with Orgreenic Kitchenware, the technological breakthrough that's guaranteed to last a lifetime. Coming up, you'll find out how this amazing nonstick coating stays as slippery as ice. You'll see how foods never stick and ruin and discover how everything, even burnt food, cleans up in a breeze. You'll learn how you can lose weight simply by the way it cooks and witness why this durable cookware won't deteriorate, making it safe for your entire family. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna break it open right now. I've never tried this yet. And I do have a, uh, wouldn't that be funny if the label stuck to the pan, you couldn't get the pan clean from the label. <laughs> uh, I thought that would be funny. All right, get rid of that. Okay, so you can see how it looks. It's pretty slick, feels good. I'm just gonna wash it real quick. And we're gonna do three tests. First test, I'm just going to cook some uh, patties, some burger patties in here, season them up. No oil, no butter, no nothing. Just straight on there. We're going to cook them well done and see how they taste. Then we're going to wipe it clean. Then I'm going to fry uh, a single egg. I'm going to try the experiment where they blow the egg out of the pan. And then I've got a little bit of chocolate, mil heavy syrup, chocolate milk in here that I've been shaking up all day. I'm going to pour that in here and we're going to burn it. <laughs> and that's going to be the final test. So let's take a look and uh, see how this goes. Test number one. Okay, so I have to admit, I just got done washing it, and it wiped out nice and clean. In fact, no water stuck to it at all. It looks like I just pulled it out of the package. So that's kind of a good sign right there. Okay, I got a medium-high flame going on here. I'm going to place a patty in there. And then I'm also going to use the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste, and we're just gonna season it up. In fact, I like to flip it before it starts getting hot so I can get both sides seasoned. There you go. We're gonna let that cook and take a look at it. Okay, I can see the seasoning starting to brown a little bit. It slides around easy. It does, it really slides good. I mean, it's like it could fly right out of this pan. It's crazy. I don't have to put my spatula under it or worry about it burning at all. That's kind of bizarre. Look, guys. It just, it does great. I'm going to flip it right now. Crazy, crazy. It's still slick as ever. You gotta be careful not to fling it right out of the pan, but this looks good. Let's take a look here. Nicely cooked. Moist as ever. Well, the burger looks good. Let's take a look at this pan. Okay, let me make an observation before we go on to the next test and wipe this clean. 
See a little bit of oil? Just that little drop right in there? That's it. Now, if I had cooked this in my other pan, there'd be a whole bunch of grease in here. Something I noticed it was cooking is the grease was kind of like lifting up and evaporating right off the right off the pan. There was no there's no grease in here. Like you could cook bacon in here again and again, and the grease just was burning right off. Kind of cool. Okay. All right, let's try and wipe this clean. It's a little hot, so you gotta be careful. Don't try this at home, by the way. <laughs> Check it out. It looks brand new. Not one mark. Not one mark. Can you see that? That is amazing. Looks like I just opened the package. <laughs> Okay, on to the next test. Okay, test number two. Got one egg in here. Want to mix it out good. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to pour it into the pan. Going to make it go way for thin. Just like they did on the commercial. And let that cook okay it looks pretty well cooked I'm gonna try and give it a blow here let me turn off my flame and see if I can't blow it right out of the pan well it blew right out of the pan but not completely as you can see I got right under it and it popped it right out look at that is that crazy sorry it's not television quality but that was pretty flipping amazing I just blew right under it and it <laughs> It folded it right up for me. How cool is that? Oh, and there's the residue from the egg right there. You see that? That's all that's left from the egg. Just give it a good wipe. Still looks great. Look at that. Still looks like I just opened it from the package. I have heard this has failed, and I've heard this has succeeded. So I got one more test to do, and that's the burnt chocolate milk we're going to put in there. We're gonna get that boiling right there. There we go. And we're almost there, not yet. I wanna get it really cooked down and burnt. Let's see how this works. Pushing it to the max. Ha <laughs> ha, okay. It's burning real good, look at that. Nice and burnt, so. You come run into the kitchen, oh my gosh, my chocolate souffle or whatever is burning. Okay, you can take this over the kitchen, pour some water in there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, here we go, ready? It's a total mess, it's burning. Let's see what happens. Pour some water in there, swish it around. Let's put it over here for right now. Okay, give it a second. Let's see if it comes right out. Huh, that didn't come right out. I wonder if it wipes right out. Oh, let's try that. In fact, you know what? I'm not gonna wipe this out, that's insane. Let's try rinsing this out and see how it does. Here we got that burnt mess. Let's, uh, let's hit it with some water and see if it comes out, okay? Huh, well that's not coming out. Let's try some soft, a soft doby, which is not abrasive at all. See if that'll help. Oh yeah, it wipes right out. Look at that, it's just coming right out. I mean, literally, just wipe. Hey, now I'm going to take a quick wipe to it with a towel and uh, <laughs> does that look familiar to you? Does that look familiar? That looks like just when I opened it.
Did you see that? Did you see that? Are you paying attention? There was no way I thought this was gonna make it. This thing got straight A's across the board. It looks just like the moment I pulled it out of the wrapper. It is amazing. I can't, I've never had a pan like this. I'm not saying that in a month or two months this might peel or crack. And if it does, I'll post a, somewhere on the screen, I'll put an update on the screen so you know. But for right now, this thing's flawless. It's the Orgreenic cookware. I just did the uh, small frying pan. They got a bigger frying pan. They got a whole set of this stuff. So uh, if you want to test it out yourself, go to uh, like Walmart or Target. It's only like 20 bucks right now for just this. And then if you like it, go for the whole set. Wow, it's great to be doing product reviews again. Okay, there you go. That was a total success. I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack. Take care.